Hey everyone, this is the Radioactive Spider Dude, and today I'm going to be showing you the materials I used to put together my Spider Man costume. Here's the Amazon listing for the original costume, as, as you can see, it is currently unavailable, so I might have to use another one. But just kidding, it came back in stock a, about a week later when I rechecked on it. But you're not getting the same suit that's shown in the pictures. It's, you can tell mainly from the back spider. So, like, uh, this is what it showed in the product. This is what I actually got. So, it was very different. The lenses were also different. It was, so, there are so there are other options. Plus, you could just get a different design for the Spider-Man costume. I like this design the most because it's from the Holy Trilogy, and it just it's a good representation of the comic book suit. The suit I received looks more like this one which you could also go for, but I suggest heroestime.com where you can get custom options so, and it actually looks more like the movie suit. You can customize the size, the different lenses, and then you can also add shoes onto it directly. It's all, it's a pretty good site. And then here's the puffy paint I've used. You don't have to buy it from Amazon. You can just go to Walmart and then I'm pretty sure it's cheaper than $9 for the silver at like Walmart or something. Go to a craft store. I decided not to use blue on my suit just because I thought the contracts would look better but you could do it over the blue too all up to your preference you will also need to get one of those foam heads you can find those at Walmart or a craft store but this is just so you can paint onto the mask because it would be easier if you had something that was around your head shape and then just like paper masking tape because you probably have that at home already but probably cover the head in plastic because mine got painted underneath it went through it, it you can see it on the actual mask it's it's pretty cool texture on the inside i originally used water shoes for the soles but they peeled off twice and the second time i just removed them and then attached some sandals after removing the band on top and they work a lot better they stuck on a lot better they feel better and then if you wanted you could also sew them on around the edges so that the shoes will stay on like more securely so if either the thread or the glue gives out then they're both kind of back up for each other and those are all the materials that i used thank you for watching if you enjoyed the video please leave a like and subscribe share it if you want others to see it feel free to comment any future video ideas or questions you may have